Cyber is the most inexpensive, highly destructive, highly deniable weapon. We don't see the war, but war is taking place. For decades, there was a lot of cyber theft, but everything would change in 2007. A piece of malware would be delivered into the Iranian nuclear program. The United States used a powerful cyber weapon in a very aggressive way. And others began to say, if the Americans can do it, so can we. Foreign cyber actors are targeting America's critical infrastructure networks. They said, oh, that's the way the game is played. Breaking into emails and making them public. I was like, I don't think this movie's coming out, guys. Some dictator cannot impose censorship in the United States. And then it ratcheted up a notch. Sowing chaos with disinformation. I don't think anybody knows it was Russia. People have no idea what's true, what's fact, what they can trust. We're still debating and questioning our democratic institutions. They're involved going after me on Facebook because Putin knows me and I know him and he doesn't want me to be sure. The volume of attack is escalating. Bad information is now spreading faster than the coronavirus itself. The sophistication is escalating. It attacked 155 countries in one day. Cyber will be a weapon of choice. Nations see this as an element of national power. This becomes a perfect weapon, one we're not prepared to defend against.